Okay, I thought I'd uh, just show you what I was doing with the fleece. So this is going to have all of the risks that you come from doing live videos outside, especially in the summer, everybody's outside. The cars going past and uh, neighbours talking out in the garden. Um, but I thought I'd just show you what I was doing, um, just so that you could see the process from cleaning the worst of the muck off the um, fleece to actually getting it soaking in water. Um, either to, uh, probably tomorrow I can go live and show you how to um, how I'm drying it so I'll show you that then. Just see if I can get the camera to turn around. Let's see. Right. So just going to try and put you up. You might go upside down, just balancing you on the side here. There we go. So this is definitely a job for gloves. So this is the fleece, if I get it up here, I'm doing it a bit at a time and this is how it comes out. Oh. So you can see there's some bits here that are particularly mucky so I'm just going to put those to one side. The ones, the bits that I don't use, I just put onto the garden. So it's going to rot in. As I'm going picking out the bits of straw as I go as well and more of those come out um, when it's been soaking in the water so whether this is the right way to do it or not I shall soon find out but with what I've done so far it's worked well it's worked well enough for me so obviously it's going to be something that will get improved on so Just picking it out. This fleece is, it was quite a big one actually. Um, the dark brown one is um, a lot smaller than this one. So I've just been doing this one in pieces. So I've already done two lots of it. Um, and they've all been washed and dried. Um, once it's been washed and dried, it's then gone into a um, pillowcase just to keep until I'm ready for the next stage. Um, now, this one, when I picked it up, is actually full of lanolin. Um, it was a good job when I picked it up that the college has got such good um hand cleansing stuff or else I wouldn't have been able to get hold of the steering wheel. Um, there was so much in it. Um, I'm just putting the bits that I'm not going to use to one side. Now, I made the mistake of the first lot I did. I put a sheet down in the front room and started sorting it but uh, I can tell you that uh, sheepskin straight from a sheep has its own particular smell and it's not one that belongs in the front room so just getting enough just to wash at this section. I'll probably divide this into two. You just see here some of the orange. That's just the marking from when they've been on the farm. So the college where I work, there's a working farm. It's obviously used for students, teaching students, animal care um, and husbandry as well. So, picked off the main bits, a lot of these little bits here will just come off and I've washed it. So now I'm just going to 
I move that to the side, I move the water up so you can see it. Just filled Oops. a tub with water. And I'm just going to lay it on the top just to ease that down. And then straight away you can just see the colour, the water change. Just now, that's just cold water straight from the tap. Got it outside, and then you can see straight away. She in the ca um, camera actually, it looks a lot lighter than it is, but uh, that water instead of being see through is now brown. So as you see, see the e bits of straw and stuff start coming off to the top. I just pick them out. So that will then stay in there, and I'll probably give it another change of water tonight. Um, but I leave that in there for at least an hour or so. I've got another bucket set up, and what I'll do is I'll put water in there. And I'll take out for here and straight into the next bucket of water, and then this gets emptied onto the garden. So uh, that's what I've been doing. So I'll show you the next stage tomorrow, um, the next lot of water. It will definitely be a lot clearer than it is now. So I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, do let me know. Um, I will be doing a proper um, blog post just to outline the differences and all that I've been doing with it uh, from start to finish. And then Saturday I've got my first spinning class, I'm really looking forward to that. So I shall speak to you soon, and uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and uh, time for a cup, I think. Okay then, I was going to do this earlier, but when I got back there was too much going on uh, next door. so. Sun's gone. Um, that will see my reflection in the water there, but you can see how mucky that is. That's just the first rinse of the water. So if I can just balance you up, what I've got is next to it set up a, um, another bucket of water. It's again, it's just clear water with no, there's nothing in it, um, just plain cold water. And this time I'm doing it with just um, bare hands. Um, I much prefer everything that I do, I prefer to do with my hands as they are, just find it easier to be actually feel what I'm doing. And as I'm just moving from one to the other, um, just bits of straw and things that have come loose, I just pull out this grass seeds and everything in there, um, and I just put it into the clean water. So just a bit at a time, and as you go in, just find bits that are floating off, stuff that needs to be pulled out. And even though this has just had one rinse, the feel of it is so completely different to when you first handled it, when it's come off the sheep. So. There we go, just moving it to the other And here you can start seeing like the different colours in the um, wool as well. So some of it is quite white, it goes to a yellow. So water that gets left behind that just gets poured onto the garden. There we are, just scooping up just little bits of wool that are left over. That 
that's it. I'm just going to push that down into the water a bit. So again, that's this bit of fleece is quite lucky. I'm going to leave that to soak the for half hour, an hour or so. I'm going to give it three or four different changes this afternoon. But if I, you might just be able to see better now. So that is the colour of the water that has gone in today. And that is the colour of the water that it's come out of. So you can see there's a lot of muck that's already come out of it. So I should do that until this water um, is clear after I've rinsed it. And it'll probably take about four different um, rinses of water before it's clear. Um, and then I'll show you um, where I dry it. So every time I come past bits of straw that are floating and seeds, I just pick them out. So the water just helps to loosen some of those. So that's the second st stage. Um, as I'll be doing the same things in the next changes of water, I won't show you those. I'll show you when we get to the drying stage. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon and uh, I'll speak soon. All right, I'm going to try this again as it kept cutting out the other day when we were trying it got um, fleece to dry. This is what's left of the bit that I did um, yesterday. So that's all just going into a pillowcase. So what I'm doing now is this one here needs to be dry and I'm just using a flat um, aero, same that you'd use to um, dry jumpers on. It's because it just got a fine mesh and the water can go straight through. This one is on legs so it lifts it up off the floor. It's also lightweight so it means that at the end of the day that I can take it inside um, or if it's raining put it somewhere where it, it's sheltered. So I'm just taking the fleece straight from the water and just laying it out onto the air. So, just see the, the seed. So, just take those out as I find them. If I just put all on the air up and then I'll spread it out. So, this is the last of the white fleece to be cleaned. So, now it's the brown one to do, but I should probably leave that until after we've had the thunderstorms that we've forecast. So, uh, probably at the weekend to start doing that. So there we are. It's all out. And what I just do is just spread it out in a thin layer on the air, a wall just holds the water in just so what I'll do at regular intervals during the day is just turn it and just break those pieces up a bit so up onto the edges the higher bit so that it's not all sitting in the middle where it's got heavy, where it's wet. So you can just see the difference between when you first started processing it to where it is now. So just get that bit off. Here we go. So this here is all dry, so that's all been washed. See there's still bits in there and as I'm going through it I'll just pull those bits out as I use it. Um, before I can actually start spinning that it's got to be all carded. So uh, that will be the next stage for you to see. Um, 
and when I've worked out how to do it, I'll show you. Um, got the carders ready for it. So uh, that's the next stage. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing how it's gone from sort of the raw fleece to actually getting to a stage where we can begin.